well it's a damn cold morning today but um, the weather itself isn't too bad aside from the temperature and I'm dying to have another look at these triplets so let's see them and any other newbies we might have today I'm out too early all the sheep are asleep still even the babies aren't up and crying yet too keen is he too keen back to the house I was just heading back to the house and I found the cache of babies. I think that's the triplets up by the fence. triplets is so white compared to the other two. Oh shit, it's being rejected. I wonder if we're going to have to step in on this. Oh god mama, is that your baby? Go get it. Jeez. Oh baba, you got the wrong mama. Uh oh. <laughs> Chaos, absolute chaos. No, the one with the black snout, I don't think that's yours, Mama. I wonder if we end up with that triplet being hand reared. As long as it's had a good drink of colostrum in the meantime, that's the important part. But it survived through the night and it's looking okay, so it's bound to be it's bound to be alright, surely. Mama with the triplets has definitely rejected the third one but this mama here, she's calling to it I'm hoping, I'm hoping she's just going to adopt it or that it's hers These two actually look quite small, they're either fresh or they're the triplets Come on baby, go drink off that you Please Please, Mama, take the baby. It's cold, Mama. It's cold and it's crying. Go on, Mama. It's right there, it's right there. Come on, baby. Shit. I'm going to see if she takes it for a little, I'll watch for a little bit longer and see if she takes it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go in and get it.
So I've got a basket here <coughs> ready to receive the abandoned lamb and this is a woolen lamb cover. It's probably way too big for this baby right now but there it is anyway. Um, and I'm defrosting some colostrum. This is what they call gold and uh, this will give the lamb its best chance. And then I've got uh, this here bag of milk replacer for lambs. So um, we are set to give it the best shot we we can. Rubber nipples, empty bottle for the colostrum. We're good to go. Sterilizing the nipples. Okay, so it's about 40 minutes later and I've got all the bits and pieces together to care for that little lamb once we uplift it. Um, I'm back at the paddock. I'm just going to observe for a little bit longer again to make sure that sure that sure that sure that it's been rejected and then I'll uplift it if I need to. I think I can see it having a sleep. I really have you given up little lamb? Okay. Let's go take a closer look. Warming the colostrum. Warming the baby. Hey, Baba. Oh, yeah. She's really. I don't know if she got any food last night. It'll be touch and go with this one. Hope for the best. I saw you running around this morning. Come on now. Come on. How are you doing out of your No, it's not standing up. It might be a little bit late for this one, I'm not sure. I might need some help. Hey, sheepy. Do you think you could hold it? Hold what? The sheep. Because I can't get the bottle in there. See? Oh, okay. No problem. Oh, fuck. Oh. Come here, Critter. Come here, Critter. We are. Oh, you don't weigh much, do you? <coughs> oh, no, on. you don't. Come here, then. Given up when I got to it. I wonder if it got in. Don't grab it, Sam. Probably because you went over there and startled everything and just did your thing and it just came out. Hello, mm -hmm. Lemmy. Yeah, and maybe it's time.
camera in its jaw. <coughs> what are you doing? Its eyes are open. Should we give it a rest? I'll warm this back up. I'll just cuddle it, see if I can get it standing. Yeah. And it will need some um, iodine on its navel too, I think. Well, I've not had any luck getting it to feed so far, so it's probably going to be a bit of a sad story, this one. What a shame. Well, well team, this is the hard reality of raising lambs. I don't think she got a drink of colostrum last night, and you can see spilled all down her chin is the tr colostrum that I tried to feed her. Um, you try and stimulate their tongues when the nipple's in their mouth, to get them swallowing but she just wasn't doing it the poor wee thing um so yeah this is this is a hard reality this little lamb she's just not going to make it the smallest of the triplets it's a damn shame and it was also i believe reasonably common Not like she's not getting a five star treatment, eh? Poor wee blighter. She's given up. She's been inside for about an hour. It's much warmer now, but hasn't been able to stand since I've brought her in and I've had the feeder in her mouth several times reasonable success but her jaw is fairly tight shut and often when that happens it's a bit of a sign that it's not gonna it's not gonna change well the little sheep she's just not feeding and I'm feeling really bad for not having hung around last night to make sure that she had a suck However, that's the circle of life and I've now separated uh, today's new lambs or all the, all the newest lambs into one paddock with good grass for the mums so that they can uh, make good milk. And so here we are, this is the lamb nursery. The two older ones that were born on day one, uh, they were walking so well they just ran into the paddock I'm standing in with their mums. Whereas these guys are all so young, they lag behind, which is how it's so easy to separate them from the rest of the flock. And the only three of the ewes in here are mamas. One got in there. So this means we've had eight lambs all up, one of whom is still alive but not going to make it, if we're honest. Um, so seven healthy little lambs, day seven. really tell some of them are ready to pop. Two plus five. And these gals. Baby sheep didn't make it.
I've dug a little grave for the little lamb under the grapefruit trees. I figure that's not a not a bad place to end up. Well, I've decided I need to pick me up after today's little antics, so I'm going to go and see if I can get some cute lamb footage. Right here at the gate. Adorable.